Hey guys, you're watching because you want to learn. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build a City, episode 50 something, 57 maybe. I'm not sure, I'm getting, I'm losing count now. Uh, one thing I did notice, I've made a mistake here. This isn't meant to be fence here. This is meant to be a little hedgerow. I know it's not a huge mistake, but it was something that was really, really bugging me. Uh, apart from that, it's good. So, last episode, we built our. Our townhouse, which is actually really, really big, but I, I still love it. I think it looks cool. And I'm glad you guys actually enjoyed a little bit of a change of episode. Uh, it won't be like that all the time. Obviously, we're back to normal this episode. However, this episode is going to be a little bit jumpy. We're going to be getting a lot of progress done on this. Well, I'll get as much progress done on the school as I can. And I'm planning to complete that building and the music block in uh, in this one episode. So, I've actually done a little bit of work here. I've put down the paths of where the paths used to be. Anything that's grass, like along here and stuff like that, is uh, is flower beds and uh, and stuff like that, fences and hedges and stuff like that. So uh, we'll do that at another time. But I have finished off the canteen, and we were fairly close. I actually came across, I found some old images of some me, me and my friends uh, outside the canteen and outside some other parts of the school. I'm not going to show you guys. Unfortunately, I'm not going to let you see them. <laughs> but um. Yeah, uh, there's a couple of changes that I need to make. I needed to uh, extend this across, this roof part across. Uh, I originally had it ending there, but it turns out that it goes all the way across and has like a pole down each side, so I've done that. I put the roof on. For some reason, this part is blue. I never knew why, but that part's blue. Uh, on the inside now, I just put some lights in, so that's all looking cool. It's all looking snazzy. Uh, I haven't done upstairs at all where the uh, IT rooms or some of the IT rooms used to be. There's IT rooms everywhere, all about this. And obviously that building is actually connected to that one, which we'll be doing uh, on another episode. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, and I did say that this part behind here, last episode, this was all... No, episode before last, when we done the canteen, this was all snow, it was all white. And I said how boring it looked. And that's because it wasn't white, it's actually brick. So, I changed it to brick on that wall, and there was a bit of brick on this side as well. And I think it looks cool. It looks a lot more interesting than what it did when it was completely white. So, uh, yeah, it's made a nice change. It's made a nice change. So, this episode, though, we're going to be working as hard and as quickly as possible to get some real, real progress done. And we're going to start off here with the girls' toilets. The girls' toilets is very, very basic. Obviously, there's no windows, <laughs> unfortunately, in the girls' toilets. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. That, was, that wasn't funny. That wasn't even a funny joke. So, so uh, there, obviously, there's no windows in here, so this is all going to be uh, brick. And I've taken away, as you can see, I, I've changed the cobblestone floor or cobblestone base with brick. Um, on the main school, we've still got the cobblestone base because there was a sort of cobblestone base, but on this part of the school, uh, it was brick all the way up, which is a little bit more boring, but that means that we're going to have to put some quartz in or something uh, to make it look a little bit more interesting. Okay, that's actually the perfect height. And then from there, this was another flat roof. This was another prime spot for school bags and shoes and PE kits and books and stuff to be thrown up. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of flat roofs. Why schools have flat roofs that are in throwable height? It's obvious that kids are going to throw stuff up there. It's just how it how it works, isn't it? Okay, and that was it. That's the girls' bathroom there. And to be honest, that's about all the detail that there was on here. But I'm going to try and add some more detail in. Um, well, there was hedges along there, which is obviously going to make it a lot more interesting. So we can do that. Nope. Ah, 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 ah. Just have some hedges in there like that. Okay, that's actually made it a lot better than what I thought it was actually going to look like. I thought it was going to make uh, be a lot duller than that. And uh, women's toilets. We can actually do a little girl on here. I'll be right back. Let me just put a girl on here. Okay, last slide. I just cut it out because it just takes a while. There we go. Little girl with a dress on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> uh, that really is the amount of detail that was there. There really was nothing else there, unfortunately. So we can't really make it any more interesting than what it is. Okay, so we're going to come along here, up there, get a couple of glass panes. Oops, not spider webs. My lazy pad still. Okay, there's a little bit of a glass roof there. And then the boys' toilets was here. Ah, we need to take away this. Ah. Eh, eh, eh. Ah, ah. Like that. Uh, that'll do for now. That's all we need to take away. Because this is on the inside, so we don't need to worry about that. I just changed that so we could see it from the through the door there. Uh, this is all one building, by the way. This is all connected. It's not like a alleyway in between or anything like that. 
So we'll just put these walls up. Like so. Again, obviously there's no windows in here. Aha. Aha. Was there disabled toilets at my school? I don't think there was. All the school all the toilets that were around were all disabled friendly, but I don't actually remember any specifically designed disabled toilets. Which is quite strange, really, because there usually is, isn't there? Okay, so this was the food tech room, and uh, I told you about the uh, <laughs> episode I have with, with um, uh, food tech, about me not having to do any washing up last episode. And uh, a couple of you found that actually quite funny, which is uh, a little disturbing in a way. <laughs> you shouldn't find that too funny, because uh, I got out of a lot of, a lot of work with that. Okay, and there were very big windows in the middle here. Like so, and like so, and these actually had something that sort of looked like quartz above the window, and I never really knew why they were there. I think they were like mini drains, and they were up there and there, and we'll go above the door as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This was actually a hallway that went up to stairs at the back, so you could get up to the second level, but we're not going to worry about the stairs for the moment. This is going to come up here, like so. Boop, 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 boop. Splash me. And there were some windows. Whoops. On this side, just one window at the beginning. Obviously, there couldn't have been windows this far back because the stairs were there. So let's come back here. And we'll have a window in there. And a window in there. I think that was about right. That's about what it had. Put these windows in quickly. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay. And the back here, this was like uh, completely blank here, obviously, because the stairs were there. But then there was windows pretty much all the way along. There were smaller windows. They weren't quite as big as the uh, food tech windows. But there was windows all along here. Um, in fact, they were, they were sort of like this. Really? Okay, I should do this. I should be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've decided to rise up the wind, rise up, raise up the windows by one block all the way around, even at the front there at the food tech room. Um, they're now three high, and same on these on the side. And I've put some um, window sills on the back and on those side ones. And uh, the courtroom here, uh, the, it was yeah, the, what's it called? The courtroom, courtyard. That's it. Sorry, the courtyard was here. Uh, these windows here, there was windows in this courtyard, but this room here, I I still to this day have no idea what they were for, where they went to, what that room was. It was always dark in there. The lights were always off. Uh, and yeah, I never know what was in there. To this day, I still don't know what was in there. So, <laughs> maybe that's where they hid the children or something like that. Okay, so we've got a two-block gap between the um, bottom floor and the top floor, which is what we usually have. Now, my form was up here. My form was located about here on the second floor. And the second floor was all science rooms. Um, physics and chemistry. The biology was over the other side of the school for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so we're going to have wider windows here. These are going to be two wide windows. And these went all the way across like that. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's brilliant when they line up dead perfect like that, isn't it? And the numbers just work. And again, they're going to be three three blocks high. Now this, as you notice, this um, building is actually a little bit lower than the main school uh, window was. It's easier to tell around this backside. Look, uh, around here, um, it's one block lower. And that's because this building was on a foundation and this building was like set on the floor. Inside, you actually like stepped up when you walked through the courtyard uh, into here. There was actually a little bit of a step up, just a very slight step up, as it, so, um, as it was on the foundations, which is why the windows are a little bit higher. Okay, um, let's line this up, because we know that's got to go there, and that's got to go there. Oh no, these are single windows at the back here, aren't they? These are all singular. And at the side here, the stairs come up to there. We can have windows... I'm going to have windows up to there, I think, and then block all this bit off again. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, along here. Careful now. Careful. And this had a flat roof on it. This didn't have any 
any peaked roofs or anything like that, which is very handy for me because they take a long time to build. Okay, so let's come along there. Oh, and it works out perfectly again. It's like it's like I meant to do it. <laughs> it's like I deliberately done it. Is there any other school stories I can tell you while I while I build this out? Um, there's a lot about my graphics class. Um, they're not the best stories. We did we did work in graphics. I was in a little group at the back of the class, and uh, we did work hard. And I done well in my exams, but we did also uh, enjoy ourselves. Uh, our graphics room was uh, here. That was our graphics room, and uh, we sat at the back uh, with some computers. Obviously, there was computers throughout the room there, and uh, there was a rug, a mat at the back door. It was like a fire exit at the back door, and there was a rug, and we didn't know at the time, uh, but that rug had been down there for years. Probably, probably not joking you, it must have been down there probably about... 70 years 50 to 70 years and one day for some reason I'm not quite sure why uh, a mate a friend called Marco his name was uh, picked up the uh, mat and dropped it again for no for no real reason but anyway because this mat was so old and had been stood on so many times when he dropped the mat from about head height uh, this map this map by the way was about six foot long it was like a big floor mat and he dropped it and it hit the ground and this dust cloud oh my god you wouldn't believe this dust cloud that came out of it it was horrendous and everybody in the classroom started coughing including me because it literally filled up the room in a dust cloud like i don't know like how you see um those sort of sand, sand hurricanes that you see like in America, uh, or other, I don't know if it's in America or whatever, but it was everywhere and it was terrible. <laughs> we laughed so hard. Obviously, the teacher wasn't too impressed because it, it really did disturb the class. We had to stand outside the classroom for a little bit for the, for the all the um, uh, grit and dust and everything to fall down. But when we went back in there, all our keyboards were brown. The computers were brown. The keyboards were brown. They had, they were full of dirt and grit and dust and everything. And it was, it was horrible, and disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, so that was quite funny. And then they decided to do that pretty much every lesson after that until we left high school. Every lesson, it was just the first thing that you done was uh, drop the mat. So <laughs> I don't recommend trying that though. Uh, another one, same class in graphics class. Uh, with Marco again. Now, Marco, let me tell you a little bit about Marco. If any of you watched The Simpsons, you'll probably know a character called Ralph. And Ralph is a very innocent, innocent guy. He's, um, very, very slow. You know, he's not he, learning problems almost, but Marco didn't have learning problems, but he was he was sort of special in a way. He was a lovely guy. And uh, we were building stuff. We we had to build stuff with... Um, that's looking good. Yes. We had to build stuff with... Um, it was like a... I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it was like a sponge stuff, but it wasn't really sponge. It was like a hard foam, if you know what I mean. And you had to carve some stuff out of it. We were carving... I can't remember what we were carving out of it. Uh, but anyway, there was also some sawdust nearby because the wood tech room was right next to it. Uh, a minute. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. The wood tech room was right next to it. And uh, he was playing, Marco was playing with some glue, which is never a great thing to do in the first place. Yep, right height. Perfect. One, two, one, two, one, two. So he was playing with PVA glue, so his hands were covered in PVA glue. And then he went and he picked up a load of sawdust. And he had PVA glue all over his hands. So all of the... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. All of the PVA glue stuck to the uh, shavings, the, the wood shavings, on his hands. Anyway, <laughs> as he was stuck 
Uh, as his hands were covered in PVA glue in these wood shavings, another friend of mine decided to do the, uh, uh, dropping the rug, dropping the mat to get all the dust up. And Marco was right there, so the mat was dropped, a load of dust come up, all of the dust went up Marco's nose, and made him sneeze. But his hands were covered in PVA glue and wood shavings, and as he sneezed, he put his hands on his face to stop himself from sneezing everywhere, and he covered his face in glue, in PVA glue. <laughs> oh, I could just see it right now, PVA glue and wood shavings, and uh, basically glued his eyes shut with PVA glue, and it was absolutely hilarious. Uh, you know, at the time it was hilarious. Looking back on it now, it wasn't really that funny, because uh, if anything, it was a little bit dangerous. But I can't help but say it was absolutely hilariously funny at the time. <laughs> I can still see him now, and he was wandering around the classroom completely blind. He couldn't see nothing, and uh, he had to go and wash it all out, but it took forever to get out. Uh, it was all in his hair, it was all in his mouth, it was all up his nose, all in his eyes, and everything. Oh, it was brilliant. Alright, so we've actually made a bit of progress while I've been chatting away. Just putting the f flat roof on. I put some quartz around the edge there, because... It just adds a little bit of white, a little bit of contrast to the rest of it. I'm going to finish off this and put some roof details on, and I should be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I put some roof detail, bleh, details on here. We've got, like, fans and stuff like that, and aircon units and stuff. My school didn't have aircon, so I don't know what they were doing up there. <laughs> Unless they were pumped to the uh, staff room or something like that. I can imagine that. Cheeky. Uh, cheeky teachers. Okay, yeah, so you went through here into the courtyard. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it looks pretty damn good. It's starting to really get there, isn't it? Um, there's not really much more detail I can put in here. I can put these along the bottom here. Um, they had bits on the top. Um, hmm. I'll tell you what we can do. is We can put some bricks in. Like that. That'll just add a little bit more depth, won't it, along the windows. Let's just do it on this front. I can do it on the other sides off camera later. Oops. Oh yeah, that looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, that's added a little bit more detail. We do the same there. Do the same there. Do the same there. And do the same here. There it is. Oops, not there. Damn it. Ah, ah. There. Okay, how does that look? That looks like a little bit more detail, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's added uh, quite a fair bit more depth, actually. And my form room was about that window, that window, and that window, I think. I think it was like those three windows on the second floor there in the chemistry room. We might do the insides. Hopefully, we can do the insides at some point. Uh, obviously, not this episode. But anyway, I think we can quickly get the, done this building as well. This is the music block. Uh, there wasn't really much to it. Again, this had the same sort of bottom as the main school. It had like a a cobblestone foundation on it. So uh, we're going to go around the bottom here with bricks first, because then we know the windows go on top of this level, like so. The door frame is here, and we had this funky little glass thing above as well. I might use iron doors for the doors at places, because they look a little bit better than any other windows. Okay, so this, that had no windows there. These were the... Um, what are they called? Studio rooms, I think is what they called them. And these had little tiny windows at the top, so that could go along there. That can go along there. That could go up there. Block that one off. Block that one off. We'll have a little two wide window there, two wide window there, and a two wide window there. Uh, yeah, that's cool. It's a little bit off center, but that's because of the shape of the. Uh, shape of the building instead of anything else. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. And then this is the roof level, so we're going to go all the way around the outside of the building with this, and then we can figure out where the windows go after that. There was no windows along that front wall, I don't think, because that's where all the keyboards were, from what I can remember. Okay, so that goes along there. No windows are going to be there. No windows are going to be there or there. All about narrowing it down where windows can go. It's the first thing about doing a building. It's a main tip. There. 
and there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there were no windows along here, you know. This is all, um, all like hedges and stuff along there. But there were some big windows. And this was like complete windows. Yeah, his room was slightly bigger than his room. Because he was never happy about having a smaller music room. This was Mr. Finnegan's room. Ah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring that down to there. Because that's what it was actually like. Uh, splash me. Do the okay. Same. Not quite sure what happened there. My my computer came up with an error and it stopped the capture. I don't think you've missed anything. Hopefully nothing's been missed. I can't really what I was, remember what I was going on about. I think his room was bigger than his room and he weren't happy. Um, but yeah. Okay, anyway. Let's carry on. I don't know what's going on with my laptop. I shall sort it out later. We won't worry about it now. Okay, so that was there. And then there was a little window there. Which wasn't at that level either. It was, it was right at the top, like in the test rooms. Like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is all hedges out the front here. Oops. Let's get some more hedges out here. We might have to do some more trickery with that, um... Uh, with the stairs again to get it a little bit more detailed, get it a little bit more interesting. That's going to come along here and then go all the way like this. Perfect. Oh no, it's a bit too symmetrical. There we go. Lovely. I like it. I like it. Do you really like it? Is it, is it wicked? I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like that. Okay, and then these fences come around here. Uh, let's get some grass. Ah, where did grass go? Come back here. Like that. All the way along here, keeping that hedgerow in. There were like flowers and stuff like that in there, mostly. And the same thing went down here. Oh, I didn't show you. I put my red door in as well, on the front of the school. Yeah, red door. <gasps> oh no, string. <laughs> ah, I didn't know that it was going to grow over there. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, red door on the front of the school. And then this one on the back here was blue, before I forget. This is an emergency door. You couldn't get in from this side. You had to get in from the other side. It's like a double door, emergency fire exit door thing. Okay, let's carry on with these. Ah, why do I always make mistakes like that? All right, need to hurry up because we're getting towards the end of the episode already. Can you believe it? How quick the time has gone. Splash me. These go all the way along here. They weren't really flowers, so I'm not going to put roses and stuff in. They were flowers, but they were sort of just mixed in with the untidiness of the hedge. It wasn't a very tidy hedge, <laughs> really. Let's take this night away, see what it looks like in the day. Hard to see at this time of night. There we go. Sleep, 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 sleep. Boop. Now, this roof didn't have a flat roof like that one. It did have a... It had a roof like... Not like that one. Like that one. And it sort of went up to a point on all four sides. Oh, yeah. That's actually looking really good. And where's my grey wool? Grey wool goes down here to the entrance. Like so. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I can't quite remember what was on the back yet, so I'm going to leave that uh, like that. But it did have a modern quartz roof. Obviously, I can't do this with you on camera, but it's very, very simple. Uh, we're going to do it on effect. Let me just have a look at a picture here. I've got a picture up. I think it was a very slight, it was, it was very, very low ceiling. So I think we're going to do it entirely out of slabs, which probably means I can do it with you guys, at least for a little bit. Maybe I'll speed it up. No, it's going to take absolutely forever, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let me do this. I should be right back. Okay, I'm getting towards the top. It hasn't really taken that long, but it is very, very dull. So... Next episode, we'll be working away from the school again. We'll be back in the uh, main city working on something. I have loads planned, and it's awesome at the amount of stuff that you guys have been um, commenting, like different ideas, different stuff to build. And I will be hopefully getting around to every single one of them. There is so much you wouldn't even believe. There we go. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's like a perfect slant. Um, so, yeah, we'll be working out away next episode. Um, I have an absolutely massive list of stuff. And uh, I keep adding it's adding stuff to it, as you guys tell me in the comments section. So continue to do that. It's always really, really nice to see. And uh, yeah, wow. Look at all this. It looks really, really good. Let's have a look from back here. 
Oh, yeah, it's really starting to fill out now, isn't it? Let's have a look on the map. How does it look on, like on the map? Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, it's still filling in still. <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? You can see how far back it goes. All the way to the world limit back there. Holy hell. Excellent. Excellent. I'm so chuffed. It's looking really, really nice. Yeah, we're going to leave it there then. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!